Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about how to enroll Android device with Microsoft Intune. If you can look at here uh, in the uh, Intune portal, we have a user. Uh, let me show you a username. Let's go back to Active Directory or Users. As your AD. And then you should be able to see here a username called Chris. So this is a Chris account. And this Chris account has all the required licenses, especially um, EMS license, because EMS license will cover your Intune license also. So we do have here uh, Microsoft Intune license is already enabled, so we are allowed to enroll. So I installed a software called uh, uh, a Power Mirror. Uh, this is uh, a software that would actually mirrors your Android device as it is. So this is going to be my uh, phone, uh, which I'm actually showing you. Uh, this is just the mirror so that I can um, clearly demonstrate what we are trying to do it and uh, if you can see here uh, the all the devices this device has uh, different applications which are including some kind of you know movies or maybe a personal application like whatsapp or true color or maybe a telegram but if you can see here um, you don't have a profile called work profile let me show you one more time so here uh, you have everything as a personal that's why this was not mentioned anything but when you actually um, enroll after the enrollment there would be another profile gets created that's called uh, work profile so there will be two different uh, profiles will come up uh, and this specific device is my own device that means a user owns the device not the company owned so definitely there should be two different isolations uh, should run within the same application so let me um, actually uh, go ahead and install the required uh, enrollment process to enroll uh, what we can do is we can go to the play store and uh, this is where the play store is there i'm just opening here and then say company portal uh, just search for the company portal you would be getting an uh, intern company portal as a full name and the developer make sure that it's a microsoft corporation and then you can simply install uh, and then that's gonna actually uh, install the specific application so i'm just gonna enable this uh, in my case uh, it's just installed enough I'm just opening it will be at this page and once you are able to see this page you need to all you have to do is you have to sign in with your work account so that's that's what uh, I'm gonna do it now I'm just clicking on here uh, which is a sign in button this is where I'm gonna enter the account details so the account details of mr. Chris because this phone is used by Chris user so I need to input your Chris user details that's how it's gonna work once I give the username here uh, of the Chris user account, I need to simply click on next. So I'm just clicking on next. That would uh, take me to the next page of the passwords. I'll be entering here the password. Oh, looks like the screen is not coming up. Looks like that's the application limitation uh, of the screen mirror. So I just enter here my password and I'm clicking on sign button. That should actually load me. Yeah, I can see here. Now it's going to register uh, that specific device. Now let's go back to the portal also in the meantime and have a look on it under Azure Active Directory, maybe. So this is where it's going to uh, show you terms and conditions uh, by enrolling your device. Uh, this is the phone side. Okay, let me before going that, you know, we did uh, verify the user accounts, uh, which is Chris in this case. And let's go back to the devices now. Uh, in the devices, uh, it should list our one of the device, which is Windows uh, and the one mobile for the Ben, but uh, not for the Chris now at this point of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, enroll this now. Uh, later point, it should be visible, very similar to the Ben device, uh, and this must to be compliant later point. That's what we are trying to test. And uh, let's uh, open my uh, my phone. I'm just opening my phone here. And logging into the phone and uh, this is what uh, it's the terms and conditions which we set it uh, if you can remember um, we did configure the terms and conditions as by enrolling your device you are agreeing to terms of use set of my uh, the company name in this case and read for the terms carefully before proceeding and um, this is where the full details are available but you know if I start accepting here and the term, it's gonna actually uh, do a few things as I said earlier uh, beginning of this video if you can remember I did talk about the uh, creating a work uh, profile which is going to be created here so that uh, 
it's gonna work in a two isolated uh, modes one would be your personal device since it's a personal device it would be completely a different profile and for the work profile it's gonna create a work profile different and in that work profile you will have all your company relevant applications too so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, continue so that uh, it's gonna create my work profile it's gonna activate that profile it's gonna update the device settings in uh, Microsoft Intune portal so that any kind of you know company policies are there or complaints policies are there that's gonna you know updated by the third step so first step would be the continue so I'm just continuing here uh, it's gonna say that hey you uh, since you are as a Chris uh, uh, you know as the end user uh, when you are trying to enroll this device it doesn't mean that entirely your company uh, is not going to view your call log or web history or location emails or text or contacts passwords calendars camera roll or personal application they're not gonna um, look at uh, all these things but they can look at model serial number operating system and uh, work applications owner information and device information manufacturing a uh, manufacturer of that specific device and the phone number of that uh, for the corporate devices only can be viewed so this is what you know giving you very clear uh, information so that the users knows that you know what kind of information they can companies collecting out of this enrolling after enrolling this device so you come to know that uh, once you know and once you're sure as the end user uh, the end user is gonna uh, click on continue uh, it's gonna actually create what's uh, next is it's gonna create a work profile and it's gonna encrypt the device so this is where you you also have the options like you know you can encrypt the applications level also communication can be encrypted as well as the phone mode uh, also can be encrypted so I'm just clicking next so that it's gonna uh, start other process like uh, creating work profile uh, and it's gonna ask me hey uh, you're gonna you know um, I'm gonna separate or I'm gonna isolate another way uh, just wanted to you know uh, be sure that you know you are trying to you know uh, aware of it and so that you can accept the terms and conditions so I'm just accepting and can uh, accepting and continuing further so that it's gonna creating a work profile for me so this work profile uh, creation might take a minute or so and we are almost closed now uh, mini portal is created now it's automatically signing signing in even I've not done anything here uh, so it's just trying to automatically connect uh, it went to that screen and uh, it's loading now the first step was completed the second one would be the activating your work profile so now you have if you, you know just go to the home and check out you would be having a, uh, this work profile but it's not ready so let's uh, activate that work profile and click on continue this is gonna sign in back to the Microsoft Intune portal and uh, activate that required uh, uh, and also if you can you know remember the um, joining options we did mention for example uh, if you are uh, coming out of uh, a finance department or maybe other departments you can you know um, give the users uh, all the options to enroll hey you want to you know uh, choose as what kind of you know work and work profile you are gonna uh, fall into it so that we are empowering the users and the users can automatically select the relevant uh, profile information and uh, relevant softwares and relevant settings and compliances can be done and later point we can uh, also uh, modify based on the ad security groups if at all really we wanted to do some kind of other settings so it's just loading this is what I'm talking uh, if you can remember we did talked about the finance IT HR is these are the categories which we configured in Microsoft engine portal if you can remember let me show you this specific setting let me go back to the Microsoft engine portal and go to device enrollment and these three settings should be available under category device category so we're specifying the users hey these are the uh, best uh, suitable category uh, for example in this case I'm just going to select as the finance uh, and then uh, choose done that's going to be no uh, configure for me the specific settings and once I have done everything I can simply click on done and also if you can see here contact IT also information is provided um, for this uh, specific thing I have not added any of the contact IT specific details where you can add your 
uh, com uh, company help desk information and what are the application you have published um, that can be you know, browsed and installed from the directly from App Store or in this case um, it's a Google app uh, Play Store but if you are trying to do it from the iOS devices uh, it would be the interface would be the almost same there's no change and uh, you can you know install those specific application so this is going to be Chris uh, and right device so that's what uh, we got it and if you want to force something you can always go to the settings and uh, you can sync this specific setting uh, to uh, f configure all the policy information and uh, this is how you're gonna actually enroll of the uh, device let me show you a post to the enrollment what are the settings will be there if you can see here now here uh, this specific area or the specific in the left side you have the personal you also have if I just uh, slide a little bit I also have the work so this is a different theme but you know you would have uh, different uh, categories of your profiles all together here one would be the uh, one would be definitely uh, personal another one would be the uh, work and in the work uh, specific the contacts and the place to and applications if at all you have configured any of the applications like word or outlook all that information will be available in the work profile let me also show you the uh, enrollment status if i can you know go back to my uh, microsoft intune and uh, devices in this case so you have two options one would be the all devices uh, when you see all devices this is gonna uh, show you from only Intune but when you look at from the Azure 80 devices it's gonna list all the devices that are enrolled in Azure Active Directory so in this case the first step would be the uh, Azure AD we have to enroll that's how we configure right so we did give the Chris account and Chris account has been um, configured for the Android work as a profile and uh, it also a listing here everything and it is compliant in fact and it's MDM managed and if I go back to the all devices I should be able to see here a Chris device also which is compliant uh, and uh, th this is how uh, you're gonna you know once you enroll you are going to get the uh, proper information and you can have here the most uh, most of other actions you can perform like retire uh, remote lock or sync or uh, reset passcode if you do the uh, retire uh, or wipe uh, we just need to you know understand you know what happens uh, let's focus on that uh, for example if you do the retire uh, when clicked on a uh, retire it's gonna leave the user profile uh, or user personal data on that specific device however it's gonna uh, perform action by removing managed application data uh, for example some kind of you know settings uh, which are pushed from the Intune or email profiles that were assigned by using Microsoft Intune uh, and uh, the management uh, uh, settings will be no lost this all happens uh, when the device uh, checks for the next policy sync or if you try to sync up uh, if you, you if you click on uh, sync it's gonna actually sync the um, agent uh, that's the on the device uh, with the Microsoft Intune server so these are the um, most of the common actions that you can do it even you know remote lock it's gonna locking that uh, device if it is in an active state let's give it a try on um, sync option for example if I try to sync uh, it's gonna actually sync the policy right away and if I click on the remote lock it's gonna actually lock that specific device and if you can see here the device is pending and uh, it's locked automatically because um, that's what the initiate did the action and um, if I want to unlock definitely I have to you know power on my machine that's just you know pressing like you know a button and then enter the password that's how, that's what I have done on from my phone uh, from my hand now it's just locked in and everything is okay if you can see here still it, it might be showing as a remote lock pending because uh, you may you may have to actually refresh the browser then uh, that specific uh, a status will be shown as a success or you know completed a status for example here remote lock completed in this case so these are the actions that you can perform uh, remotely based on the normal um, activity also you can check the hardware inventory information of that specific device uh, including the serial number and other things also the uh, discovered uh, discovered applications whatever the applications are available on this specific machine and device compliance if at all you have configured any kind of uh, any kind of policies it's going to show you uh, the policies and there is a, a built-in uh, device complaints uh, policy which is already configured and it is visible and similarly I'm going to actually show you here uh, 
other policies uh, like you know in this case it's actually showing has a complaints policy assigned but this is might be you no know, not applicable that's why uh, it's not showing you can leave this uh, for now just for the enrollment process and it is uh, still compliant so we at least bother at this point of time because we have not jumped into the other uh, demonstration and security baselines other information you can uh, on each individual device specific you can uh, have a look on it like if you have configured any kind of managed applications like outlook or maybe some other applications business applications that all will be you know, visible um, which are available for the mr chris um, these are the information uh, you can uh, check out post to the enrollment process so this is how you're going to actually work with the android enrollment process i hope this is useful for you uh, thank you for watching this but in the upcoming sessions uh, we are going to actually deep drive into few of the scenarios based uh, enrollment uh, post to the enrollment what of the applications and the configuration you know configured uh, the settings like the terms and conditions that what we have so far discussed and uh, there would be different policies like device complaints policy device configuration uh, policies all that to be tested on the uh, on the different mobile devices uh, and these settings we are going to uh, check out uh, how to do those uh, specific settings for example a profile configurations or the powershell scripts that we want to run uh, all that uh, specific settings we are going to you know, test it and all these are specific settings i did explain in the uh, in the upcoming uh, sections very clearly and this is just for the enrollment process that's why if you can see here there's no policies has been assigned um, that's why we we are not getting any kind of you know, settings otherwise we might have get by this time all the different settings and uh, different applications may be distributed automatically uh, without knowing to us that's how it's gonna uh, work uh, so this is uh, specific to the applications and uh, this is for the application protections if you can see here are uh, different applications i did distributed like putty sky for business and different applications and that all will be you know, pushed out to the devices when we enrolled and assigned the policies uh, since i have not assigned any of the policies we are not getting anything at this point of time and uh, thank you for watching this.